We're on the front side of the feeder house here. We're going to talk about a 10 hour service interval for our dust extraction fan. We can remove our bolt on the side here and our latch, and get this cover off, and then we can clean out all the debris in this area every 10 hours. Here we're on the right side of the machine, and we're going to talk about rock trap clean out. I got my tool on the right step here that I can remove to help me clean out my rock trap. So here we're on a 10 hour interval for our rock trap. I've opened up my rock trap door. I've grabbed my tool here from the right step, and I can use this to clean out my rock trap daily. We're on the left side of the cab here. I want to talk about 10 hour service interval for our cab filters. The first thing I've done is made sure that my cab door is shut. When we open up this cavity, there might be some extra dust and dirt that falls in. We don't want that into the interior of our cab. So what I can do is remove two screws on our, on our panel here, lift our panel up. We have a center lock that locks both cab filters in place. And then I can just simply remove the filters like so, clean them out, reinstall, and we should be good to go for another 10 hours. I'm on the left side of the machine here, and I've used my service ladder so I can access the transfer gearbox area. Now, on the transfer gearbox, we have a pulley mounted. This pulley is designed to provide airflow and cooling for the transfer gearbox. We want to blow this pulley out every 10 hours. We're on the left side of the machine here. We're going to talk about a 10 hour grease interval for our chopper drum. You can see here we have a yellow decal stating a 10 hour grease interval. What we're talking about is the chopper bearings. On the turbo chop and the pro chop, both the left and the right side of the machine need to be greased every 10 hours. Here we're up in our engine compartment on top of our machine. We're going to talk about checking the oil every 10 hours. We have a dipstick tube. Here we can check the oil. If we're a little bit low, we can add in our fill tube down here. This needs to be checked every 10 hours. Now what you see here is a C13 Caterpillar engine. On the Mercedes, the components are going to be in a slightly different position but at the same interval, we want to check it every 10 hours. After we check the engine oil level in our engine, we can step over and check the oil level in our reservoir for our hydraulic system. Now, we have a sight glass on the side of that reservoir with two lines, a red and black. We want that oil level to be in between the red and black lines. To check this oil level, we want the feeder house in the down position and the unload auger swung all the way in closest to the machine. Check the hydraulic oil level every 10 hours. After we checked our engine oil and our hydraulic oil levels, we can come over here to our reservoir for our coolant system and check the level for it. We have a sight glass on the side of the coolant reservoir. We need to have coolant present on that sight glass. Now you want to refer to your operator's manual as the coolant type for a Caterpillar and a Mercedes engines do differ. Check this coolant level every 10 hours.